My defense have to play forward, and my forwards got to go on the caboose. So this is going to be interesting. If we win more than 20 games, I will be blown away. If our chemistry is somehow decent, I don't know what to tell you. But let's go ahead, randomize a team here, and we get the Carolina Hurricanes, the jerks, if you will. I feel like they've done a lot of offseason moves. They just get everybody, honestly, at this point. Let's just get the obvious stuff out of the way. Owner mode, no. Fantasy draft, yeah. And... Head coach headed lines is an absolute no for me. And you know what? I'm going to turn all three of these off as well. Just leaving these two. The lone survivors. Let's go with draft pick number 13. That is not a new one. But that is the number that came into my head. 25 is where we're at. I was almost there. If you multiply it by 7. Hopefully no one thinks I'm actually serious there. Obviously you gotta multiply it by 6. So I think my game plan here is to try and get a lot of offensive defensemen. And also a goalie. Is going to be crucial. I won't take one just yet, but in the near future, a goalie will be drafted by our squad. Charlie McAvoy is probably a two-way defender, yeah. Quinn Hughes is offensive. He doesn't have an X-Factor, though, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Sidney Crosby has five-star defense, so could be a very good defender. Just saying. And Ovi could unleash cannons from the blue line. But you know what? Yeah, I am going to go with Sid. I was going to take Ottinger, but he doesn't have the gold. So Linus will be our selection. This man can absolutely play forward. Without a doubt, EK65, get on the squadron. Patrice is very good defensively. I think he might survive one more round though. So I'm gonna hold off for now and maybe, I don't know who to take actually. I think I'm gonna go with Chris Letang and then hopefully Bergeron is still there and I will take him to be a solid defender. But that was a big gap in between picks. He's gone. Well, you snooze, you lose. Another defenseman that could play forward for sure. In fact, I feel like he did at some point. Anyway, Brent Burns will be our next selection. I should probably not be taking these players that won't go for a few rounds, but here we are. Offensive defenseman, 85 overall. 5 million is all right. We just need offensive defensemen, so I can't really say anything. Dmitry Orlov is also all right offensively. I don't know if this game takes that into consideration based on his stats here, but I feel like he's very good offensively. Anyway, just based off of that, I will draft him. Just looking at it here, hopefully it actually lets me draft 12 defensemen. Because I see 5 out of 10 there, so maybe it won't. Offensive defenseman John Klingberg. Bada bing, bada boom. 88 defensive awareness for Andrew Kopp. Maybe. Four and a half star physicality for Domi. Let's go with Max. Anders Lee's very physical. He's got good defensive awareness. Sure. Kevin matches the player type. So he will be the newest member of your Carolina Hurricanes. Pretty decent defensive category. Good physically. $22 million of cap space though. No can do. Jonathan Taves has four and a half star. But no. No chance I am taking on that contract. It's not great, but we are tied up cap-wise already, so I think I'm going to go with Barabanov here to play defense, and then still need a backup goalie as well. Let us grab Phonics Copley. 82 overall, less than a mil. Are you kidding me? Geo, you can play offense. Come on now. Four-star defense. That's our guy right there, Marcus Foligno. Where's all my low overall offensive defensemen at? Because I'm not seeing any. This guy's an amazing forward. And he plays for Carolina. It's also the wrong Sebastian. But he's still gonna be a member of my team. Maybe we should grab some defensive defensemen for the fourth line, you know? All right, Luke. Oh, I was gonna take Howla, but I don't know what our handedness is looking like back there right now. So let's have a peek. All right, so the way it is right now, Literally everybody is left-handed, so I need a right shooting player to play defense. Just for fun, let's go with Oshi. So our defense is complete. Radko can be the equivalent of like our tough guy forward. And Brandon Dillon can join him because six foot four, what a menu. Tanner Janot going in round 21, what the heck? Didn't see that coming. So this means that he is usually there and I just don't go down to the 78 overalls to find him. I have a feeling this one's going to take a minute, so I'm going to go in there, do what I got to do, and then I will give you the PowerPoint presentation. This is an absolute nightmare. I take it back. We're not even going to get 10 wins. This is surprisingly not that bad. It's the defense that has the awful chemistry. I've tried moving it around as much as possible. It's not helping. 
So this is the team we have. Allmark is going to need to have the greatest season in NHL history for us to even get over 20 wins. I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I hating on this team too much? Do I have too low expectations? I feel like there's no way we do well. I somehow managed to get a plus one on line number two and I am sticking to it. Okay, I'm locking this in. Here we go. So those two losses weren't that bad. I thought it was going to be way worse. We have a win against Seattle. 1-3-0. and oh. Okay. Yeah, we're going to stink. We actually somehow managed to get a three-game win streak. We beat Tampa, Buffalo, and then the Leafs. Lost to the Panthers. And then went on to beat the Oilers as well. What happened there? Honestly, if we don't finish last in the entire league, that in itself will blow my mind. We're not too far behind the Rangers, though. I think they're the only team. That's giving us a run for our money right now. Here we go. Can we beat the Rangers? Let's do it. Yes! Boom! Five game point streak. Ruined by the Ottawa Senators. Doesn't matter though, because we got right back in the win column. Let's go ahead and enter the trade deadline. Even though trades are off. We got Brett Pesci. Tim Winston. Could be an alright defenseman, maybe. Jamie Benn. Oh, the Rangers pulled like way ahead of us. Yeah, never mind. We did stand a chance for a minute there. At least I thought. And then we didn't. Why do I feel like Sydney the Kidney is still going to have the most points? Guess we'll find out in a minute. But I'm going to sim past the playoffs. There's no point of going and then coming back because we didn't make it. The Calgary Flames go on to win the Stanley Cup. Cleveland takes home the Calder. We did end up finishing last in the division and most likely the league. But we can have a look. President's Trophy goes to the Knights with 120. Holy smokes. They had Cooch, Zabenejad, and Kreider. All right, brought in a couple Rangers, I see. Horvat Perron and JT Miller. Kemper in net. Nurse Mayfield. So, yeah, I don't know. This team is not 120 to me, but whatever. Oh, wow, I just realized Florida and Golden Knights. One and two. How about that? Let's check out the Panthers roster. They had Tage playing with Huberdeau. They brought him back. And for a check on the first line. They sure did. Nasty second line with Barzell, Tomasino, and Bertuzzi. DeSmith and Wallstedt. Fill the thrill on the third line, say less. The Penguins finish 19th in the league and they qualify. Things you love to see. And are we dead last? Yeah. By quite a bit. Okay. EK65 went off. 71 points. We got 68 from Latang. Crosby had 55 Tony D with 46 burns. It's not that bad. I expected it to be worse. How? How did you get above a 900 save percentage? I've built legitimate teams before that have had goalies struggle with a 900 and somehow we still managed to get it. Look at Phoenix too. This is one draft that, you know, if you kind of follow along and then do the draft afterwards, I would love to see how yours went. Let me know because maybe I just drafted a stinker and it's possible, but who knows? Darcy Kemper... Sheer domination, 52 wins, 11 more than Casey at number two, and he had a 930 save percentage while he was at it. Is that any good? Carlson still finished second for defenseman, even though he was playing forward. Adam Fox up at number one with a nice amount of assists, 80 points, Kale McCarr 70. Jesper Bratt would win the Art Ross this year. Loving the variety we're getting recently. I've seen Quinn Hughes win it, and now Jesper Bratt. He's up to 91 overall. Who is he playing with? No, playing with Matthews, all right, and clearly the other line mate just didn't do much. Patrick Kane with the Rocket Richard at 48 goals, so no one got to 50. Felino with the most fights by far. That is a stat we care about. He also pretty much doubled the next person for Pims, so... Great job. This man has 70 discipline. You would think it's 32. Bobrovsky did well in the playoffs. A 927. And he only had four losses with two shutouts. Holy, Calgary ran away with this thing. Carell had a 9-15, 12 wins. Sorokin and DeSmith both had 10. Brandon Montour, almost point a game. 19 points in 21. That is solid. And then we got Ryan Ellis with 16 in 20. Hughes, point a game. 16 in 16. Not your Conn Smythe winner because they didn't win the Stanley Cup. But Nate Mack had 28 points in 21 games. Very solid. No. No. 
Joe Pavelski, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I feel like Bobrovsky should get it here, but the goalie just never does. Team awards. We will go through them quick, even though we basically knew what's going on there. Jesper Brad with the Art Ross and the Hart. Fox gets the Norris. Brad also gets the Lady Bing. Holy smokes. Save some trophies for the rest of us, you spoiled brat. Huh? Matthias with the Calder. Not the first time we've seen that. I don't even think this is the second time we've seen that. Pavelski did, in fact, get the Consmite. Highway robbery. Darcy Kemper with the Vesna and the Jennings. Uh-huh. I mean, how could you not after that? Bill Masterton goes to Nikita. <sighs> what are we doing? Gervais Schwannard gets the Jack Adams. What a Hail Mary attempt that was. The Selkie goes to Bergeron. Brat with the Ted Lindsay as well. And then the Rocket Richard lands in the hands of Hattrick Kane. Here is your playoff tree. Calgary lost four games. Yeah, that checks out. So they had two sweeps and two series go to six. That is immaculate. Although we may have suffered mightily, I still had some fun with that one. It was cool to try out a different draft that I kind of knew going into it wasn't going to work out, but... Doesn't really matter that much. It's kind of fun just putting the team together, seeing what the lines look like, stuff like that. What kind of points they can produce with these wacky teams. So thanks for the suggestion. Again, if you guys do try this out, be sure to let me know how yours went. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, boom. Um, Maybe subscribe, you know, if you're feeling it. Show up in your feed there. Could be cool. Just saying. And on that note, I will see you soon.